Hey guys, Leno here from PlayToEarn.net. For today's video, we'll be talking about a couple of blockchain games that offer a passive income model for its players, specifically those on the Binance Smart Chain. The games on this list allow players to play and earn when they want, but also allow players to generate income passively, usually by renting out their extra NFTs or staking. So without further ado, here are 5 player and games with passive income models on the Binance Smart Chain. The first game on our list is Thetan Arena. Thetan Arena is an eSport game based on blockchain technology, and it is built on the Binance Smart Chain. In Thetan Arena, you can gather your friends, form a team, and fight with others for a chance to earn awards. Thetan Arena's gameplay is designed to maximize both your skills and teamwork. The game features various game modes. The first one is Battle Royale mode. In Battle Royale, players can go solo or with a friend to be the last one standing. A match can have up to 42 players or 21 duos. There's also a deathmatch mode where teams rack up kills and a superstar mode which is kinda like their version of Capture the Flag. And the last mode is Tower Destroy mode which plays like traditional MOBAs like League of Legends or Dota 2, where players destroy towers and get to the enemy's base before they do the same. By playing the game, you can earn a Thetan coin which is the main currency. It can be used to trade on exchanges or buy Thetan boxes in-game. Meanwhile, Thetan Gem is the governance token of the game used for staking and governance, and can be earned in tournaments, special events, and marketplace sales. Players can also earn NFT items while playing which they can sell in the marketplace for money. The game has a hero rental feature where players can rent out their extra hero NFTs to others who want to play for free. Owners can set their heroes up for rent on the marketplace, and renters will spend an amount of THC for rented heroes' temporary ownership alongside with other benefits. This could have the potential for passive income. The game is live now if you want to check it out. You can play on Android, iOS, or PC. The next game on our list is Tiny World. Tiny World is an auto battler idle PvP game built on the Binance Smart Chain. In Tiny World, players can participate in multiple games under the Tiny World platform for a chance to earn rewards while playing. Tiny World is a blockchain game universe that combines NFT, DeFi, and gaming. Players can collect over 100 Tiny Hero NFTs to use on their journey in the game. Players can battle their way to the top of the leaderboards, or they can enter dungeons for a PvE play to earn experience. A few of the heroes in the game are Galileo, Medea, Musashi, and Hammurabi. Heroes also have different rarities including SSSR and UR. In the Tiny World universe, there are three games, which are Tiny Kingdom, Tiny Farm, and Tiny Dungeons. Tiny Farm is a yield aggregator which makes the game by aspect more profitable, and an NFT marketplace that enables free trade of NFT assets. Tiny Dungeons is a simulation game where players can build their own dungeons to earn rewards. And the main idol game is Tiny Kingdom. Players can collect more than 80 materials and 200 weapons to use on their heroes to make them stronger and conquer more enemies. Tiny Coin is the main token of the game and is used in the decentralized economy. It incentivizes players to actively interact with the game and rewards developers who contribute to building the game. The game is live now if you want to check it out. You can go to their website for more details. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're always updated with our videos. Now let's get back to the list. The next game on our list is Luna Rush. Luna Rush is an auto battler idol fighting game built on the Binance Smart Chain. In Luna Rush, players can use their characters to fight other players, team up with friends, win a tournament, and have a chance to earn rewards. Lunar Rush is an anime-style casual game where players use their characters for their strategies. Each character in the game is made in detail, with each one having their own effects and ultimate weapon. A few examples of these characters are Matsuko, Nishi, Reiko, and Sumiko. Players can summon these warriors, train them to make them more powerful, use them in fights, or even convert them into spirit material used for other things. The game offers different modes. There is a boss battle mode, where players need to defeat a strong boss to rescue other warriors and get rewarded when they succeed. There's also a PvP mode where players can go head-to-head -head against other teams, and a tournament mode for those who are confident in their skill and want to be more competitive. The higher the rank players finish on the tournament, the more rewards will be given. Other features of the game include building your own warrior, selling and renting NFTs, land gameplay, and guilds for players who want to work together. The main token of the game is called Luna Rush Token and has a fixed supply of 350 million. The game is live now if you want to check it out. According to their roadmap, a 3v3 tournament and clan building is planned for Q1 of 2023. The next game on our list is Uland. Uland is a virtual DeFi idol game built on the Binance Smart Chain. In Uland, players can own virtual land, explore, trade, build, and battle to carve out their empire and earn in game rewards. Uland is a virtual earth built on the blockchain, and it mirrors current geographic locations of places in the world. Players can rule their own empire by buying land in the game, which are categorized into three tiers. Tier 1 are countries, which are the biggest plots of land in the game and have the largest reward opportunities. Tier 2 are regions and states, which are located within the countries and are smaller plots of land. And Tier 3 are hex plots, which are the smallest unit of land players can own in the world. By developing lands they own, players can build an empire and even trade an army to battle with thousands of other players around the world in the play-to-win strategy game according to their website. There will also be a hero system and battle card system for players to use. 
Owning land also gives in-game rewards and perks such as distribution tax, share of all new land transaction fees, token rewards, and more, depending on the land tier. Players can explore and harvest resources from hex plots on their land, which can then be used to improve or sell to other players. They can keep growing their cities to scale, trade on the in-game marketplaces, and earn the game's tokens, new land, and XPLR. As of this recording, the Tier 2 land sale is ongoing, and the game launch is set for March 2023. You can check the roadmap for more details. And the last game on our list is Alien Worlds. Alien Worlds is a DeFi space team card game being built on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and Wax. In Alien Worlds, players can create anything in the universe, simulate the Earth's economy, seek fortune, and thrive in the NFT social metaverse. The main gameplay in Alien Worlds revolves around using NFTs you own to connect and play with others, and earn trillion by going on missions. On missions, players can lead spacecrafts to send across the metaverse, explore, and discover new NFTs. Players can also connect with others to find a group of explorers, build NFT drops, strategize about planet politics, or even build games of their own. There's also a staking system where players can stake the Trillium, the game's main token, to vote in planetary elections and increase the planet's reward pool. Each planet also has their own doubt to decide on the future of their worlds. Players can also trade game cards with other players to maximize their strategy. Game cards come in the form of NFTs, and a few examples of these are land, tools, minions, weapons, avatars, missions, and commemorative NFTs. All NFTs also come in different rarities and shininess that affects the price they demand on the market. Since the game is cross-chain, all of these assets can be freely bridged between Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, and Wax. The main token of the game Trillium is what players mine for, and is also the main way of interacting with the ecosystem. Like the NFTs in Alien Worlds, Trillium also exists on all three chains. The gameplay is mostly passive since players just have to send their spacecraft on missions. This is perfect for people who don't have a lot of time to spend playing. The game is live now if you want to check it out. You can visit their website for more details. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you're looking for games on the Binance Smart Chain that offered passive income models, I hope this list helped you out. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info and everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.